What's up, this is Morgan Page. We're going to take a quick behind the scenes look at how I'm using Strobosoft to keep things in tune. So we're going to try it out on my bass guitar here, my acoustic bass. And you can see there's three screens here and uh, different ways of reading out the pitch and uh, seeing if you're in tune or not. The main one I'm using is this uh, blue and white checkered thing. And if it's out of tune, it rolls around and and sort of flashes. And uh, if it's in tune, it's perfectly still, so you're trying to kind of lock it in the cage. So we're going to start with a high string here, G. And that one's in tune because it's not moving. And if you were to go out of tune, it starts to do that. So if you're out of tune, you just listen for it and kind of visually check it. I'll bring it back into tune here. There you go, just like that. So basically uh, I'm using it in a very simple way right now, but it can also be used for um, checking the pitch of your samples uh, for your vocalists and keeping the more exotic instruments in tune. Uh, if you want to use different temperaments and tunings, uh, it's a great way to make sure you're you're on the mark with your tunings there as well. Um, and it definitely makes a difference with electronic music because with all these perfectly tuned and recorded keyboards, an out-of-tune guitar uh, stands out like a sore thumb, so you always want to make sure you're in tune. So that's a quick behind-the-scenes look at Peterson Strobosoft.